a series below a convergence series is smaller than a convergence series, so converges as well. A series which is above a divergent series is even larger than a divergent series and divergence as well. This may seem obvious to you, but remember that we have to be really careful with dealing with series, so we will take a closer look to those statements in this video. That will give us a new test for convergence, the comparison test. So suppose we have two series, a series with terms A and a series with terms B. In. And suppose we know that the uh, series with the terms with the B and converges, so it's some known series, P series or geometric series or whatever, we know that it converges. And suppose furthermore that all terms with the B's are bigger than the terms with the A's and that they are all positive. So this need to be monotonous, the A's may go a bit around, but uh, as long as they are all below the uh, BN, then uh, we know that since they are below convergence series, that the sum of the AN converges as well. So why is that? Well, we know a lot about the uh, uh, series with the BN terms. For example, if we define the partial sums, T capital N, the sum of the first term of the BN, uh, then we know that the limit capital N to infinity T exists uh, uh, because of some converges and we have only series with positive terms here. So we know that this limit T is above all the TN because the uh, uh, TN are, are uh, the partial sums. You compute the limit, you're always adding uh, more terms to so this TN. So the TN are below the T. Uh, so that's all uh, something we know about the series with the BN. Converges uh, to some T and all the partial sums are below this T. Now let us take a look at the AN. We define the S capital N in the usual way as a sum from uh, small n is 1 to capital N of the AN. Now we know that all those AN are smaller than the BN, so if you add them up, and all those AN, if you add the first capital N up, then the, the sum of those first N terms will also be smaller than the first uh, capital N terms of the BN. And that has, uh, has got a, a name. The sum of the first capital N terms of the BN was the TN, and those were smaller than T. So the S capital N over here, smaller or equal than T. Furthermore, we know that all terms, all a n are positive. So the s1 is a, a1, s2 is a, a1 plus a2, so the s2 is bigger than the s1 and s3 is bigger than the s2 and so on and so on. So we know that the partial sum, the sequence of the partial sums is also increasing. Hey, but then we're done. We have an increasing sequence, a monotonic sequence, which is bounded, and we know that all monotonic uh, sequences which are bounded uh, are in fact convergence. So we have a bounded and increasing sequence, hence convergence. So that's why we know that the sequence of the S capital N is increasing, which means that the series uh, sum n from 1 to infinity of a n is convergent. We don't know its sum, we only know that it is convergent and that its sum is below the sum t, of course. Now let's do the other way around. Now we have our BN again, here they are. And suppose now we know that the series of the BN is divergent. And suppose now that all, other, all of the AN are above that, so now they are bigger. Then I know that the series of the AN has to diverge as well. well from the picture it may seem obvious, how do you prove it? Well, suppose to the contrary it would be convergent, then the uh, sum of the AN is uh, above the BN and the sum of the AN is convergent. So due to the comparison test we just have proven that would mean that the sum of the BN would be convergent, which is not true because our assumption is that it diverges. Hence our assumption is wrong. So that means that this assumption is obvious wrong. Which, uh, and we can conclude that the sum of the AN diverges. So we have in fact two comparison tests. First, given a series find a series above it which is converging, 
then you know that your series is converging as well. A or second uh, option, suppose you have some series, try to find a series below it which is diverging, and you know that your series is diverging as well. And as you may understand, the, the other cases, a divergent series above a series which is unknown, well, that won't tell you anything. Uh, and, uh, and last remark, remember, this comparison test, this whole uh, procedure, only works if you have search which have only positive terms.